Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, uh, it's Madam Ruby again. We are going to learn about formal structure today and we have to determine which Lewis structure is the most plausible structure. And then we are going to learn about the concept of resonance using appropriate examples. As you can see, between these two molecules, they are double bond between the atom of red color and blue color for structure 1. So how could we know the best molecule between these two possible structures? Formal charges are apparent charges on certain atom in Lewis structures which is used to find the most stable Lewis structure. Among several possible Lewis structures, the one whose formal charge is nearest to zero is the one which best describes the molecule. The characteristics of a stable Lewis structure is formal charge approaching zero or equal to zero, and the negative formal charge appears on the most electronegative atoms. The formula is formal charge equals to the number of valence electron in the free atom minus the number of non-bonding electron plus half of number of bonding electron. Formal dehydrate is a known carcinogen and it will cause tissue irritant. Yet, this chemical is still allowed in safe concentration in certain products we touch, put on our skin or hair, and inhale every day. Two possible skeletal structures of formaldehyde are given below. Choose the most plausible structure by showing the formal charges for each atom in each structure. Let's look at the formula that we're going to use again. The formal charge is equal to the total number of valence electrons in a free atom minus the total number of non-bonding electrons, i.e. lone pairs of electrons, and plus the half of the total number of bonding electrons, means how many bonding pairs of electrons do you have? The sum of the formal charges of the atoms in a molecule must equal to the charge on the molecule or ion. Now let's calculate the formal charge for compound A. This is the formula again. Carbon has four electron valence as a free atom. Minus two, the lone electron. Plus half times 6, which is the 3 bonding pairs. The formal charge on carbon now is negative 1. Next, formal charge on oxygen, having 6 electron valence as a free atom, minus 2 lone electrons, plus half times 6, the 3 bonding pairs, equals to positive 1. The formal charges on hydrogen is 1 minus 0 plus 1 equals to 1. Now, let's calculate the formal charges on B. The valence electron of carbon as a free atom is 4 minus 0. Now we open the square bracket. So it becomes minus half of 8 because there are 4 bonding pairs. The total is 0. The formal charge on oxygen is now 6 minus, there are 4 lone electrons there, minus half of 4, which is 2. So 6 minus 4 minus 2 is 0. So B is the best structure because the formal charges 
are zero compared to structure A. Example 5.9, page 133, question number 2. Determine the former charge for NOCl. Oxygen has six electron valence as a free atom, minus four lone electrons, minus half of four from two bonding pairs, equals to one. Nitrogen has five electron valence as a free atom, minus two lone electrons, plus half of six from three bonding pairs, meaning it is zero. And finally, chlorine has seven electron valence, minus six lone electrons, plus half from two, one. So, the former charges for chlorine is also zero. There you go, the determination of former charge of NOCl compound. Number three, determine the correct Lewis structure for COCl2. As we have calculated the former charges for carbon, oxygen, and chlorine, it turns out that structure A has zero former charges, and structure B has negative one former charge for oxygen, positive one of former charge for chlorine, making the most stable structure for COCl2 is figure A. As usual, your homework would be completing practice 5.4 regarding the structures of Lewis of CO2 carbon dioxide and the cyanide ion NCO minus. When we have determined the most stable structure, the stable structure can have a resonance between it. Resonance structure is happening when same atomic structure exists but different arrangement of the electrons. The double bond will switch places. So resonance structure will happen to two or more Lewis structure for a single molecule that cannot be represented with one accurate Lewis structure. Let's write and draw, for example, 5.10. Draw the resonance structure of the following molecules using the Lewis structure that obeys octet rule. Sulfur has six electrons, valence as a free atom, so it is going to form double bond with oxygen. On the right, and on the left. So the resonance structure for sulfur dioxide is given in the slide. They can exchange, the electron can move around sulfur and in between the two resonance structure we put the sign. Arrow with two hats left and right. For ozone molecule, also we have two resonance structure. The first structure has double bond on the left and the second structure has double bond on the right. So please write the answers in your page 134. The third example is benzene. Benzene has two resonance structure as shown in the slide. So write this down and as we are writing it down, we notice that the double bond can move around the ring of benzene. That is how resonance structure makes the stability of certain molecule. 
In previous lesson, we have drawn together the structure Lewis of carbonate ion and nitrate ion. See if you can guess how many resonance structure does these molecules of polyatomic ion has. Thank you for listening boys and girls. Keep up the good work and let's strive for excellency. Bye!